Welcome to Swish, vintage finds for your sassy self. We hope you enjoy the videos and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hello everyone. So welcome to my closet video, I guess, where I'm going to show you some objects of affection um, and some of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe. Before we head in, um, similar to Angela, I recently moved and this is my first walk-in closet. Very exciting. That being said, um, it still has, uh, or it still needs some work. So don't judge me too harshly. <laughs> uh, it's not perfect yet. But that's okay, I'm gonna show you anyways because it's filled with a lot of really lovely treasures. So come on in to my closet where I'm gonna show you some of my favorite pieces. The first thing I'm gonna show you is um, completely out of season, but it's one of my favorite pieces. Uh, so I really wanted to show you. This is a Lillian mohair winter coat. If you hear some little like clacking, it's Cherry. She's coming uh, to show you her favorite outfit, her brown suit. <laughs> so this I got this winter. I was actually a gift from my boyfriend for Christmas. If you're familiar with Lillianne, you'll know how special it is. And if you're not familiar, um, Lillianne is out of, or was out of San Francisco and was known for making really beautiful suits and coats, especially in the fifties and sixties. I do have another Lillianne, um, that's coral, but it's more of a sixties piece. Anyways, this one is much more special because it's a 1950s kind of swing coat and it has this really beautiful, I call it the cotton candy lining. So this is one of my absolute favorite pieces. The next thing I'm going to show you is my most mm, elaborate caftan. Uh, I'm wearing a caftan for you in this video because I haven't worn them yet uh, at any of our videos that we've done previously and I love caftans. <clears throat> this one here I got when I was in Arizona just this past winter. <laughs> it has just the most kitschy, super loud print. It has pink panthers or I guess cheetahs all over it and it is just so gaudy and I absolutely love it. This was also a gift from my boyfriend for my birthday and I was supposed to wear it when we were going to Palm Springs for my birthday at the end of January. We didn't end up going because of COVID. Um, I haven't worn it yet uh, and I probably won't wear it this summer because it's quite a heavy polyester and we all know uh, polyester is not ideal for summer. Uh, this is a 1970s piece and I can just imagine <coughs> the parties that it went to um, in its heyday, I guess. The next piece I'm going to show, um, I got actually from Swish and I did wear this in one of our, um, I think Saturday favorites videos around Christmas time. So this is a 1980s piece, and if you know from watching the videos, and I'm not a super big fan of the 80s, um, unless they're really spectacular, and I think this piece is just so beautiful. So it's obviously a Harlequin print, and it's metallic, but it has this really cool, almost like bustly piece on the back, which I thought was really special. And I got it altered but I need to get it altered again um, because it's still a little too big. But I initially had bought this to wear for New Year's Eve and I didn't end up going out for New Year's Eve, so I didn't wear it. Um, but I did wear it to, to Swish uh, just to be extra fabulous around the holiday. So I love, 
love love this piece and this will be something that I probably hang on to for quite some time so if you can tell we're in like kind of my long section although unlike Angela I do not have a gown closet because I don't have that many gowns nor do I have a closet to put gowns if I had many uh, this piece here is maybe one of my favorite dresses I got this in Las Vegas, um, which has amazing vintage shopping. And I got this maybe seven years ago. And I wore it, it has these really great sleeves. I wore it the very first time for a photo shoot. Um, and then I didn't wear it for, I don't know, five or six years after that. I was actually going to sell it, which is kind of funny because I now I wear it all the time um, it's 1970s it has this really high slit somewhere uh, it looks like it was maybe like some sort of I'm, I'm imagining someone wore this out dancing uh, anyways I recently just this past year or two have been wearing it quite a bit more um, this was my mom's favorite dress um, so this was my mom's favorite dress, um, so I'm super glad I didn't get rid of it because we wore it for um, a little photo shoot that we did. And I actually meant to find a photo so I could show you me wearing the dress and then I totally forgot to find the photo. Anyways, um, so I actually wear this all the time and again this is a piece that I'll probably keep. Um, for quite some time and it's not like it's fancy or expensive or anything, but it's super flattering and It has some sort of like sentimental value to it. I'm probably gonna wear this I mean, I've already shown it to you now, but I'm probably gonna wear it in um, an outfit of the day video because I super love this and I wear it quite frequently now <clears throat> um, What else should I show oh, this piece? So I actually have not, I haven't worn this yet um, because I'm kind of waiting for an occasion, which is silly because we always say, don't wait for an occasion, for an occasion, you should just wear it. Um, but this is a Flora Kung. And the only reason I know about this brand is because of Angela and she knows all of the brands from the eighties. Um, so when I found this piece, I knew it was pretty special and I didn't try it on when I got it and when I brought it home I washed it and I tried it on and it fits me perfectly and again this is super funny because I always say how much I don't like the 80s but this is an 80s piece again um, but I like it because it has these ginormous sleeves and it has this peplum piece so um, it's like an 80s does 40s kind of look and it's 100% silk <laughs> Um, there's a mirror over here <laughs> and I keep looking in the mirror in case you're wondering why I keep like looking to my side because I'm admiring <laughs> myself in the mirror. Um, anyways, this is quite a spectacular piece and I really, really love it. Um, I have here this giant wicker basket purse. And I actually have a collection of these and they're not in this room otherwise I would show you the whole collection this is I think the very first one I ever got that kind of started the obsession with these 1950s 60s like picnic bags I have all different sizes I got this from Swish um, I think the first year that I started working there and super pink which I love and it's in really beautiful condition. And so I use these in the summer, um, if I'm going on a picnic or to the beach, or if I have a cute summer dress on, I'll carry like, one of my smaller ones. So this is definitely an object of affection. Um, I love these bags. I'm gonna show you a couple of my other favorite handbags. I like to switch out, <laughs> here comes Cherry again, snorting. I like to switch out <laughs> the bags that I use depending on my outfit and I just thought I would show you a couple of my favorites. So this one is, I want to say like late 60s, this burnt orange 
kind of carpet feeling bag. Uh, I like it because it's it's big and unusual. Usually they're not quite this large. Um, and you know, this is kind of my color palette, this um, Autumn color. This is just something, I think maybe I got this at the thrift store like ages ago. I'm currently in love with tapestry, especially bags and coats. This I got at a local consignment store. Again, this is a little unusual because it's really large. Um, they're normally much smaller. That's why it's unusual. <laughs> um, something I, I acquired recently that's pretty spectacular are these cowboy boots. So if you've been watching us, um, it doesn't even have to be for quite some time because I most of my outfits of the day are Western inspired. You'll know that I love Western wear. So these are Holstein. This is real. Um, I don't know if it's um, pony or cow, but it's real fur. <laughs> but um, what makes these so special is one, I got them secondhand and two, they're Dolce & Gabbana. I will pause for uh, gasping time. <laughs> what does that mean? Right? Look how special these are. So I don't have much in the way of designer. Um, much like Angela, it doesn't really matter what the label is so long as it's beautiful or you find it beautiful or you feel good when you wear it. But when I found out that these were Dolce & Gabbana, that like totally kicked it up a notch, uh, especially considering what they're worth and what I paid, which is why I always talk about how you should buy shoes secondhand because you can usually find pretty dreamy footwear um, at insane prices that you normally wouldn't, um, you wouldn't normally spend the money on because I would not buy these boots for $600. Um, anyways, I'm kind of saving them. I want to wear these for an outfit of the day post too. I mean, now I'm already showing you them, but I think they're pretty spectacular. Um, something else I want to show, I'm going to sneak over to this side of my club. Oh, actually, before we do that, no, I want to show you this hat. This I got this summer, um, from Bird Shoes Angels, which is in Vancouver. If you haven't watched the episode that Angela and I filmed when we were there, you should go back and watch it. This is probably from the 1950s. It's this woven um, kind of straw, I guess. This hat, when I saw it, reminded me of something Butch Wax Vintage would have or sell. And when I saw it, I said, that's a Butch Wax hat. But now it's a Natasha hat. And unlike Angela, um, I can wear hats because my head is um, hat sized. Let's just say that. So I love this. Now that it's finally summer and warm out, I can actually wear it because I haven't been able to wear it yet. So that is uh, probably my favorite, maybe my favorite hat. Okay, I'm gonna scooch over to this side of my closet and show you <laughs> some pieces over here. So, um, as you know, I love Western wear and I have, I just wanna show you some of my favorite. I have a lot of Western button ups. And every single one of these I got secondhand. Um, these brands are normally very expensive and they're not really well carried in the city that I live in, especially for women. Like you can find them for men, but um, it's a little bit more difficult for women. Did I show this brown one? Oh yeah, this brown one is, is has a funny story. So. I got this at Antiquaire in Calgary, which is my favorite Calgary vintage store, which is closing at the end of the month, which makes me sad. Anyways, I got this for my boyfriend for Christmas. It was in the men's section and it said extra large. And I was like, sure, that'll fit. And I wrapped it up and I gave it to him for Christmas. And when he tried it on, it like nowhere near fit because it was actually a woman's 
uh, woman's shirt. So what I did is I took it to the tailor and I got it fitted for myself because uh, it's really, really beautiful. And I actually wear this one all of the time, which is uh, interesting because I don't particularly like brown, but uh, that one I do wear often. This is another one that I absolutely love. This is a 1970s H bar C. I bought this um, online and you know, I love, I love fringe, so. Lots of Western tops. Speaking of Western, um, I love bolo ties. Uh, I'm guilty of usually wearing the same maybe three, but I have, I think, I think I have almost 30. So this is my collection of bolo ties here. If you can come over here and have a look at them like come closer and have a look <laughs> just get right in there so I can show you some of my favorites this um, cactus one here I think this is the first one I ever got uh, and this one I got on a trip to Las Vegas and I got it in this really amazing um, furniture store uh, like vintage furniture store this was a gift from my best friend um, this one's one of my faves. I got this one at Swish. Anyways, tons, but uh, you can back up. This one is my favorite. This is vintage. I'm going to say it's probably from the 1970s. This has a real spider in it. I think it's a Black Widow. I wear this one all the time because it's my absolute favorite. And funny story, I am terrified of spiders they might be my biggest um, fear so people find it funny when they know that uh, I'm terrified of spiders but yet I wear this spider bolo because it's pretty it's pretty spectacular and it's very unique and um, I was very pleased when I found this I got this at um, a big vintage show that happened in, in Edmonton Hmm, what else should I show you that you have never seen before because I have so many really beautiful pieces I think I have yeah I have this bracelet here actually um, I don't recall if I wore this I might have wore this in an outfit of the day video but now I don't remember this is a copper bracelet from the 1950s by a designer called Renoir I've been on the hunt. Oh, I think I, you know what? I think I did say this in a video before. I've been on a hunt for a Renoir um, copper belt. <clears throat> Renoir is almost impossible to find in Edmonton. I got this, in fact, in Vancouver at Berju's Angels and really, really love it. I'm feeling copper lately and uh, so that kind of fit the bill. I just remembered something else I wanted to show you. Um, if we can scooch over here. It's my favorite belt. <laughs> so I have this giant mirror in my um, closet. <laughs> uh, so you, maybe you might see my cameraman floating around um, <laughs> because when I set it up, I didn't anticipate being filmed in my closet. This is my absolute favorite belt. I might have worn this in an outfit of the day video, or you might have seen me wear it on a Saturday favorites. This is, uh, I think it's, is it silver plated? It weighs maybe like three to five pounds. It's vintage, obviously very Western. Last year, maybe the year before, there was a costume store that was closing in, I think it was Three Hills, which is about a three hour drive from Edmonton. And they had a ton of vintage clothing. <clears throat> so I found out that they were selling it. Uh, and then I drove there with my boyfriend to go peruse the racks and see what was left. And this is one of the pieces that was left. It was $30, which at the time I was like, 
oh man, I don't know. I don't want to pay $30 for this belt. Fast forward to maybe last, I think it was last summer when we were in Vancouver. We were in a vintage store called Mintage that had this like little sub store in it. And the gentleman there, um, I think it was a metalsmith and he made jewelry. Anyways, he asked to see my belt and he said, is that like real silver? So I gave it to him because I had no idea. Anyways, it's, he said it was silver plated, um, but it was still worth a couple hundred dollars. So um, I guess moral of the story is pay $30 for a really beautiful belt because it's absolutely worth it, especially considering how much I wear it because I do wear it quite frequently. So favorite belt. Oh, I see something else I have to show you. That's one of my absolute favorite pieces. This jacket, I feel like I keep saying it all the time. Not all the time. That's what I was going to say. I keep saying I wear this all the time. But in fact, I do wear this all the time. This is maybe one of my most favorite pieces. Am I saying that too about all of my things? Everything's like my favorite piece. <laughs> I got this at Bruges Angels in Vancouver the very first time I ever went to visit her. Um, I had went to all of the vintage stores in Vancouver and was having no luck finding anything that fit me or that I liked and I walked into Bruges and I loved everything and everything fit me and um, made me pretty happy. This is one of my colors, again it's one of those kind of autumn -y colors from I want to say it's from like maybe the mid 1960s uh, it's a really great piece I wear it a lot in the spring and early fall again this is kind of like a lifer piece that I probably won't ever let go of and when I wear it I always get tons of compliments um, which makes me feel really good it's a pretty special piece I'm just gonna have another little look and see what else I want to show you before I sign off. I think I wanna show this piece also. So this is, I think the first piece I ever actually spent real money on. This is by Betsy Johnson. It's 100% silk. It has a kind of 1940s vibe to it. I got this when I was maybe 21, 22, probably 22. On my very first trip to Vancouver, I went with some girlfriends um, and I found this Betsy Johnson shop. And at that time I was obsessed with Betsy Johnson and she still had stores. They've all now since closed um, and like her her clothing what you can get is not as good anymore like you know they sell it at um, winners sometimes <clears throat> anyways I went in there and I tried this on and I also tried a coat on and I still have both the pieces and um, oh, <laughs> Cherry's coming in panting because it's quite warm finally in Edmonton so they were having a buy one get one sale and each piece was $500, which is more than I would have spent um, at that age. And I really loved both the pieces, but I wasn't sure. My mom happened to be working in Vancouver at the same time I was on the trip. So I called her and then she came down and I showed her the pieces and she convinced me to buy them. She's really good at convincing me to <laughs> spend my money on clothing. Uh, it still fits me, which is pretty spectacular, and I still wear it currently. At the time, I wasn't as into vintage as I am now, so I just think that's kind of funny that um, it has this really beautiful vintage look, and now I'm obviously super into vintage, and I especially love the 1940s, so that this looks 40s, I think, is pretty awesome. I know that's a piece I'll probably hold on to for, for quite some time as well. I think that might be all that I want to show for today. I mean, I have so many beautiful pieces, um, but <clears throat> those might be the ones that <clears throat> have the most meaning or that I love the most. So like Angela, I'm thinking maybe depending on how creative I get and how much time I have, I might do some wallpaper in here and spruce things up a little bit. So 
we'll have to do, both Angela and I will have to do um, Visit My Closet Part 2 so you can see the makeovers. I know she's already been shopping for wallpaper and chandeliers and uh, she's prepping for that. So hopefully I can prep too. So I just, oh, <laughs> there's cherries behind. <laughs> I want to say thank you for watching and for snooping in my closet with me and um, I'm happy I was able to show you some of my favorite pieces. So on that note, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram at Squishy Girl, give us a thumbs up, a comment, um, maybe what your most special piece is in your closet, and share with all your friends. And we will be back later this week with more awesome content and videos. Uh, that's all, so goodbye.